Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a good day. I have stories that I'm going to be sharing next, and I tried to go as quickly as possible. I put some together for all of the makeup products that I use, as, long, as, as well as some other skincare products they use on a daily basis. If you don't want to see it, I won't be offended at all. Go ahead and tap the right side of your screen, and it will fast forward you through to save you any pain. <laughs> guy is wanting another treat as you can see and I've had a lot of questions about the dried lung it is made by Red Barn they're called choppers not chompers and I'm sorry if I told someone incorrectly you're getting it just a second it is a hundred percent beef lung that's it and that's why I love them honestly they don't smell the best but what lungs smell good <laughs> <laughs> he loves them and that's all that matters there he is digging digging for the treat are you finding it buddy what is this <laughs> get it bug get it as promised i was going to do a very quick tutorial of the very few makeup products i use and i also wanted to talk very quickly about medical grade skincare products I have sworn by Obagi for years. The face place that I go to here in Greensboro recommends Elastin. Medical grade products are very, very expensive. I will be honest, they are not cheap, but I do see a huge, huge difference. So let's get to it. The first thing I use for my brows and my eyelashes is our Revitalash products, I swear by these, I've been using these for two years. It has literally changed my eyebrows. They're longer, they're thicker, and my eyelashes, it is, it's amazing. Sometimes I feel like I need to clip them because they're so long. The next thing I use is our serums. I use either Tula or I use Obagi. This is a medical grade one, and I think I mentioned this comes in 10, 15, and 20%. I use just a couple drops on my forehead, my neck, and my decollete. The next thing I use is Elastin's new restorative eye treatment. Again, I this is brand new to me, so I've just been using it. And I try to get it down in here also along, again, under the eye as well. I just kind of smear it everywhere where the wrinkles like to gather. Then I use the Elastin's Restorative Skin Complex. It's a treatment, so it's thicker. So again, this goes on top of any serums that you might be using. And I smear this everywhere. This is a thick, a thick treatment that I think might be working. It's hard to tell because this is the first bottle. So we'll see. <clears throat> the next thing I use is Tula's Bright Start. It's the vitamin C moisturizer. I just do this on my face because I have something else I want to share that I use on my neck and my decollete. That's a, such a funny word, decollete. As I said, I use the vitamin C serum on my face, my neck, and my chest, but I also use It Cosmetics Confidence in a Neck Cream. I use this once, twice a day, smear it in, make sure that you get up on your collarbones. Yeah, very, it's very simple, but this is, this is also one of my favorite creams by It Cosmetics. You can't go wrong with It Cosmetics, you just can't. And finally, I use Tula's Protect and Glow every single day. This is the product that gives you a little shimmer which I love. I use it also on my neck and on my chest. Now that my skin is all prepped, I use Born This Way, and I probably need one that's going to, it's a little darker, because I think even though I'm putting SPF on my skin, I am getting somewhat of color to my skin, so I probably need to change the shade, but this is a great concealer, and this is all I use. But if you're looking for a good this is a color correcting illumination full coverage cream. This is It Cosmetics CC Cream. I do love this also. I, if I'm going to use a foundation, this is what I use. And this has SPF 50 in it. So 
So after I put the concealer on my face, I use It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is the Illumination Press Powder. They are out of this. So I bought the regular matte press powder that's on sale. It was on sale the other day when I bought it. I love this stuff. It usually comes with a big brush like this. And all I do is just go like this and make sure that my make sure that my concealer is set. And that's it. Like I said, you cannot go wrong with it cosmetics because that's basically what I use for the most part on my face. I use this. This is Hello Cheekbones. Again, this one <laughs> broke too. <laughs> so it also comes with a brush. I was watching on TikTok that you're supposed to put your, this is a bronzer with a highlighter. You're supposed to put it on your cheekbone and not in the hollow of your cheekbone. So I'm, who knows? I'm just putting it on. I'm probably wrong. But I just smear it right on the cheekbone like that. And then I also do the sides of my nose a little bit. And then up here. <laughs> it's like painting. Wherever I think it needs a little bit, I paint it. <laughs> and then don't forget the highlighting end. I do the top of my nose, my cheekbones. And then you can do, if you want to do a little bit, where you're right below your eyebrows. Anywhere you want to draw attention. <laughs> I'm trying to not draw attention. Then when, I, then when I get all that done, I use It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Rouge or Blush. And I just take a little and do that. And voila. That is my face for the day. That's it. No big production. No nothing. Now the time consuming part comes where I have to do the eyebrows. For the brows, I use an inexpensive pencil I get from Ulta. I think it's $6. Has one of these little brushes on the end. And then this, you never have to sharpen it. I just fill in the brows. <laughs> Someone asked me what type of pencil that I use on to line my eyes. I think I've had this probably since eighth grade. <laughs> so once I've, I've outlined my eyes or used the eyeliner, I use It Cosmetics eyeshadow sticks. If you have sensitive eyes, itchy eyes, or don't like how eyeshadow falls and gets everywhere. These are perfect. They're extremely easy to use. It's just like a lipstick, but it's for your eyes. And once you put it on, what I do is just take my finger and smear it in. That That's it. They're so, so user-friendly. They don't crease. They are long lasting and they're easy to remove with soap and water. And finally, when everything is put in place, I use, surprise, surprise, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I should be working for It Cosmetics. This mascara is the best mascara. It's the only mascara I used. I was trying some other stuff that I wasn't a fan of. This stuff is great. It doesn't flake. It lasts a long time. It makes a huge difference in your eyelashes and it's easy to remove with soap and water. This is one coat of mascara. One. Makes a big difference. I just added a second coat. This is good stuff. I thought I would check in on the vanilla that I made the other day. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's changing colors. Is that a better view? So every day it continues to get darker. And I had a couple questions about how much vodka to put in. Just make sure that you've covered the beans. So this I made Wednesday or Thursday. And this one, where'd it go? 
<laughs> my prized possessions. Oh, here it is. I made this last, last February. This is good stuff. Very good. And I wanted to say, hey, I got quite a few followers the other day that came over from my friend Deb over at The Blended Nest. So thank you, Deb, um, for sharing me. And thank y'all for being here. I hope you'll stick around. Um, there hasn't been a... I hope I didn't bore you guys too much with the makeup stuff. But I had so many questions that I figured I would just do it all at one time and share that I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway... We're gonna have some fun today. Let me show you. We're going to clean this room out and make it more usable. Right now, it just has a lot of stuff in it. We're gonna take all of this to the storage unit. Eventually, I've said it before, we're gonna put new flooring in here and then paint it, but it's not going to be completed right now because we're working on the outside while it's nice outside. What are you doing? Anyway, that's the excitement we have on our plans, on our agenda for today. I don't wanna give you too much of a sneak peek of the pergola, but we have a few things to do out there. And then hopefully I will be sharing that with you next week, along with how to care for your, um, <laughs> oh, sorry bug for your vintage chandeliers. I did not get to that this week, but I will be doing it next week. So stay tuned for a pergola refresh.